The Bernese Mountain Dog is an absolutely incredible breed that was first bred as a working dog in Switzerland. They are intelligent dogs with a friendly and gentle personality. In today's video I'll be sharing more about this remarkable breed and whether or not they can actually suffer with separation anxiety. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Bernese Mountain Dogs. So if you're a lifelong Bernies lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernies Mountain Dog video. So let's jump right into today's video where I'll be telling you all about this impressive breed and whether or not they can suffer from separation anxiety. There are many things to consider before bringing a puppy into your home, especially if this is your first ever experience of having your own dog. Separation anxiety in dogs nowadays seems to be a very common problem. For some dogs, the slightest change of routine can be upsetting for them and cause more anxiety. It's thought that all dogs have separation anxiety to some degree, and this does not exclude the Bernese Mountain Dog. So, as I already mentioned, the Bernese Mountain Dog is a very loving dog with a gentle, careful nature. This is a massive positive about this breed as they can make amazing family pets and companions and they are especially good with children of all ages. This is a quality that they are well renowned for and commonly become a close companion to the children in the family. The Burner is widely known for its kind, sweet and rather docile nature. Obviously, as with all dog breeds, you must socialise and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well-balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialisation is key if you are bringing your dog into a relatively busy household where there's new people coming round or other animals. They are naturally sociable but socialisation helps in creating a confident and well-rounded adult dog. They are a very loving dog and companionship is important to them, so spending time with your burner on walks and playing games is a great way to keep them happy and prevent boredom. They are an incredibly devoted dog to their family and sensitive in nature. The Bernese Mountain Dog is an incredibly people-orientated dog breed and does not tolerate being left on their own and they can suffer greatly from separation anxiety. Their sensitivity and strong devotion to their beloved human companions can cause this, so if you are looking for a dog that can be left on their own, then the Burner is not going to be the breed for you. You can train your dog to be left alone for very short periods of time, as long as you start this training from a young age. If they are left alone for a long time with no form of activity to keep them busy, they can become very distressed, which may show through destructive behaviours like chewing, barking, whining, urinating, escape attempts, intense pacing or extreme agitation. It is their loyal and devoted personalities that cause the Bernese Mountain Dog to have issues with anxiety. Although there is not actually one single cause of separation anxiety, there are different factors that are common in dogs who suffer with the issue. Some include a change of schedule which may be sudden and means that your dog is left alone for longer than usual, or an attachment issue which may be caused by a loss of a family or one person. A significant change in a pup's life can cause the development of separation anxiety, which is incredibly important to be aware of, especially with a sensitive breed that the burner is. Through the use of a time-consuming activity like a Kong toy stuffed with some peanut butter or meat substance, you can help your dog's separation anxiety. It provides them with something to do whilst you are out and in return takes their mind off the fact that they are on their own. It also means that they begin to associate this period of time with you giving a treat. So instead of fear and stress taking over them, it is a time of excitement and happiness as they will have this treat. It will bring your burner a sense of security when you are not in the home with them. Removing the treat when you do get home helps with this association. You can also use a crate to help your pup's separation anxiety. They can view it as a secondary home which offers them a sense of safety and security when you are not around. However, you must observe their behaviour in the crate when you are home and do crate training since they could become more anxious if not properly trained to understand that this crate is a place of safety and not of fear. There are lots of different ways to deal with separation anxiety and it is important to get advice from a professional. By giving your pup lots of socialisation in new environments, in surroundings with unfamiliar people and animals, it will be beneficial to them in growing into a confident and well-rounded adult dog that is adaptable to different situations. It is really important when you are looking into getting a dog that you do a lot of research on them and look into whether or not they are able to be on their own for different lengths of time. 
Depending on your daily routine, how much you will be at work or how much you will be at home, this will make a difference to your choice of dog that you bring into your home. Be sure to watch more of our videos and read lots about the breed in order to find the best match for you and your family. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated burner videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.